presumably live now. As I make Mario larger and more powerful. My chat has said I've exited host mode like 20 times, which is nice. Hello, Rambro. Ah, Twitch appears to think I've been streaming for about seven hours now. <laughs> Lovely. Mess around a little bit. People wander in. Also, I assume folks can hear me, which I guess is a silly question if folks can't hear me. Hope I don't do that. That is good. Speed run. We're doing good. Doing great. We're feeling so speedy. It should be noted that I don't have a backup strategy for catching MIPS. Perfect. That'll go great. So basically, I'm just going to plan on doing a 70-star uh, run and uh, see how well it goes. I've practiced a bunch of sections that I was really bad at, so hopefully this time I'll be better at them. No promises, though. That's not what I want at all. I mean, probably a lot of people's 120-star runs, but I've never done a 120-star run, so... I wouldn't know. Joke's too long. Thank you for the follow. That bird stole my hat. I can't believe this. Here we go. Yep, will o -Wisp. Gonna be doing a 70 star run. Um, so basically, as long as I don't screw up the start too badly, I'll just basically let it let it ride, see how far we get. Um, if I screw up really badly in the first few levels, then I will probably restart the run. We'll, we'll sort of see. Well, we're always happy for the follows. Joke's too long. Uh, Scythe 200, basically I'm going to be playing, uh, getting over it probably once a week at most, maybe twice. Figure I'll give that game a bit of a shelf life. Um, other stuff I do is thing are things like uh, Mario speedruns, which is actually something I just started. Current PB down over here. 
hour 2410, which I think I can do a lot better on. And that's all be that's what we'll be seeing tonight. And I think I might as well just jump into it. So timer starts when I restart the game. Let's do it. Hello, Ragni. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Will-O-Wisp. I am definitely slowly getting more and more into the whole speedrunning thing. For example, I'm going to try and potentially fail at the bomb glitch, uh, or at the bomb bomb clip, right at the start here. We'll see how it goes. Skip. Gotta go great. It didn't go great. That's fine. Yeah, I was way too far over to the right there. Oh well. Oh, did I not change the title of it? Oops. Hmm. Oh, and then I just screwed that up too. I might just restart the whole thing there. Uh, try to redo the... Let's do it like that. Kind of threw me off anyway, so... Hello, fabulous villain. Oh yeah, rules are in uh, chat, no kappas, for the record. It's me, Mario. Hello. Okay, let's try that again. I've now updated the uh, the stream info to hopefully have the correct game. Oh, I never even saved it, so <laughs> we could just restart. We could just get going immediately. Perfect. Doom is fine. I don't ban all emotes. Really, just kappas. User's choice. Okay, let's try that again, but a little bit better without me having something that I have to worry about on my brain. Maybe I'll hit the Lakitu skip this time. Probably not. I'm not great at it. Yeah, I find Nightbot to be a good bot. Take two. Yahoo! Yahoo! Still not getting that one correct. I don't know, some days I can do it like several times in a row. Other days it just goes very poorly. Yeah, it's like, it's only a few seconds, so it's not like it's run restart worthy. I just mostly wanted to make sure that my stream info was correct. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
I mean, I'm gonna be going for the uh, bomb bomb clip uh, here as well. So like, if I screw that up, that's a few extra seconds as well. Ah, that was close. Oh well. Nope. Going good. I don't know, the bomb bomb skip is one that I've like practiced enough that I want to just start runs off with it. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm going to hit it every time. And honestly, if there's time to be gained in this run, it is almost entirely on the third floor, uh, and also in Bowser in the Dark World, which I'm very bad at. <laughs> I think that's the first time I have tried a bomb clip in a run, incidentally. For the record, Will-O-Wisp, uh, my current PB is a run where I remembered to get the red coins. Ah, fuck. Wow. Boy, I am 0 for 3 on weird tricks tonight, huh? Well, hopefully I can get it the second time, or the speed star the second time around, because this is not happening this time. Yeesh. I was doing this just fine this morning. Yeah, I think I did that Saturday, Friday, I think I did that. Then yes, that would be it. Slow me down a little bit. I'm doing 100 coins first because that's the one I suck at. So might as well get it out of the way, know how we're gonna go. God, I dislike that guy. Go back to bed. I just don't punch early enough, honestly. <laughs> Camera. Not the greatest start to this run, I gotta say. Wow, like extremely not the greatest start to this run. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. Like, what did I even hit there? I'm a bit confused. Not the real fence. Here we go. Ugh, God, just... All my movement feels not quite correct right now. Oh well. Hopefully I'll ease into it as the run goes. I guess I was playing Fire Emblem for five hours today. Way too. Get 
god. Like... Screwed up on things I have never done before. Oh yeah, Manly Grunting. Uh, we've been doing Fire Emblems Tuesdays and Sundays at like 3 p.m. usually. Uh, for a little while now. It's Path of Radiance with Ike, uh, and we just did the four-part Heron chapter from Hell. Uh, Lonely Buster, thank you for the follow. I don't know if that's close enough. I'll hush you. Punch. I don't know if I got this. Okay, good. Yeah, exactly, Will Wisp. Like, I may. If it's if I screw something really big up on the uh, first floor, then I will probably end up resetting this. Um. Ugh. God, I just... All of my things are doing the wrong things today, it feels like. That said, nothing incredibly major. That was almost too quick. Or, almost not quick enough. Oh god, that was too quick. Yeesh. And yeah, the uh, cannonless bust through the wall setup is hilarious the first time you see it, and many of the other times you see it. Two more stars to get. Um, both fairly easy, but most of Womp's Fortress isn't too bad. I can't even get that one. Camera is not cooperating with me tonight either, which is pretty, pretty great. There we go. Okay, so that's eight. Now just the owl, and then back to the slide. And hopefully I get the slide this time, because yeesh. enough. I hit that. That's nice. Didn't hit that one, though. But not surprising. There we go. Yeah, there's like a slightly faster method, but it is kind of ridiculous to do. Um, but, like, doing it, you basically have to climb up to the star, which means that most of the time save you would have gotten is lost anyway. Boy, if I miss this. Okay. Safe. That's fine. Certainly slow, but as long as I get it. I'm also, like, I'm able to do the trick, uh, for the owl star, but I tend to choose not to. I also have not, still not practiced uh, getting the lower red coins here because it terrifies me. Because I am a coward.
pinned, as you can see, already quite bad at the wing cap. I don't know, sometimes to me it zigs when it should have zagged. is next. <coughs> I mean, will o -Wisp, people can do it where they get the lower coins first and it fucks me up every time I watch it. It's terrifying. So I'm not very good at that one. Slightly new route. And I'm gonna die anyway. Okay, wow. I managed to not die there. Like, sometimes you just don't do the flip, I guess because the, ele the slight elevation change of the brick. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> that would have been funny. I would have laughed. for that. Did not. Thank you for the post, newbie. Ugh, god damn it. Well, so much for the fast way. Normally you want a long jump all over there, and I have been practicing that, but I got kind of screwed up there. Can do this at least. The sad part is, this is definitely faster than most of my Bowser in the Dark Worlds. I do Bowser in the dank world. <sighs> Second star in Bomb on Battlefield. Let's do it. Not my cleanest Bowser in the Dark World, but uh, certainly one of the cleanest ones I've done in an actual run. going to be by far a gold split. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is very definitely so long, Gay Bowser. Yeah, all of the tricks that were involved in that went correctly that time, more or less. Bowser in the Dark World could have been faster. Five stars in Cool Cool Mountain. My R button worked so I can get out of Mario Cam. That's always good. Whoops! <laughs> A little much gusto, Mario. 
Ugh. It was not nearly that hard. Next is Baby. <coughs> Someday I'm going to do that jump correctly. Baby, please. <gasps> well, there he go, and there... <laughs> I do not usually cut that corner that tight, huh? Well, didn't lose too much time there, at least. God, the movement on that is annoying. Or on that triple jump, specifically. This part is not actually that difficult. Despite my best efforts to make it so. There we go. This is going to be a new trick. This is a good deal faster uh, than taking the other way. I didn't do it quite as well as I could have. Um, you don't have to hit that thing in the middle, but... I find that that's like, when I screw up, that's a safe way to recover from it. Where it used to just kill me. Up next, we have a run killer, so let's do it. Oh, this game is absolutely terrifying. That's half the fun. <laughs> Teleport, please? Yes, Wally. Fa 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 fa. Got all of those. Almost fell off the slide, which would have been funny. Okay, I need to miss two coins here. One. Shit. Okay, uh, this isn't too bad. Oh, fuck! Okay, well. We'll make it work! <laughs> uh, for the record, you cannot long jump that. A little bit sloppy, but... You know, when you make it work, you make it work. So 
So I was trying to only miss two coins there to make it easier for me to get the final star. I ended up missing four coins, which was literally like the absolute worst thing I could have done there. Can I not? Yeah, that's annoying. I forgot I had to Mario cam as I was walking in there. Nope. God. That that jump just like sometimes I get it perfectly and other times I just fuck it up repeatedly and I don't always know what like differentiates, you know? So, do that the safe way. Uh, don't know the fast boo, like, on the balcony strat yet. That was also pretty shameful as far as entrances go. So the biggest thing we'll be looking to do here is not fall off the roof. If we do that, then we're in business. The speedrunner's credo, but did you die? Okay, that's the split done. 1.7 seconds slower, that's fine. Here comes Mips. Uh, I missed Mips first when I was uh, doing practice earlier today, so... Uh, hmm. I'm sure it's gonna go great. Although I believe in the current PB, I also missed Mips. If I remember correctly, shifting Sandland is a bit of a nightmare. Well, I fucked up Mips. Yep. Also, Swamp Wolf and... Nielsen09, a -M -M uh, thank you for the follows. I don't know what it is. I, like, can usually catch Mips every time. Lately, I have been missing him a bunch. This is about a good, as good a save as I can do, though. Ah, oh, damn it. The shy guy flew towards me. This sucks. This sucks. I hate this. This sucks. Race over to this pole where hopefully that guy is still chillin'. Oh god, if the bird kills me! Oh, that was so close. That would've been so bad. Didn't do the star correctly, but didn't die right there. So that's, you know, I'll take that. <gasps> that could have been so bad. Uh, no. God, this triple jump also, like, if there's one way I can't do it, it seems to be like right at the start of the level, like first try. Which is weird. You would think that that would be the one I'd practiced. Also, hey, Loon. One more star in Shifting Sandland. My time is okay. This star takes a while, though. Especially if I miss, um, or lose my shell, in which case things get kind of fucky kind of quickly. Okay, that was clean, so that should be fine. Upcoming is the first place where I tend to lose my shell, right up there, going up that pillar, and then I've also done it over here. Good! Okay. 
Now I just have to not lose my shell on the way up. Perfect. Perfect. That is so much better than uh, last time's Shifting Sandland. Now we got this place. Yeah, God, no. We would absolutely not do the boss fight if we were earning 120. Blech, that was bad. My controls did not do the thing that I wanted them to do there. There we go. Not catastrophic time loss. Up next, I do bullies. I tried to save myself, didn't quite work out. Which means that next time I will have to go for the further bullies, and we'll see how long that takes. safe. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? Certainly not the best bullies I've ever put together, but, you know. Get out of here. That is definitely a new one. Three more stars to get. One's easy. One of these days I'm going to start like rolling out and shit during this, but currently I'm okay with just doing it like this. Okay, volcano strats. I don't lava boost, if you know what that is, because I have never been able to get it to work consistently. That's sort of on my to-do list of tricks to learn. Okay, always happy when that star goes well. One more star in Lethal Lava Land. That is a fair way to say it, uh, Squirrel Token.
Well, that's great. But the good thing is if I die here, I still end up in the volcano. What? I am not sure I've seen it do that. That's a new one to me. That was some incredible physics right there. I agree with Nate, you should make fun of me, Fungus. Hazy Maze, five stars. Uh, Rukia Kukichi-chan. No, <laughs> this is, I am still pretty new to all of this, so. Uh, I've had worse runs. Someday I'm going to learn to get that correctly. Lake Star next. That's fine. Okay. That almost went bad in several ways, but I think we're safe. Two more. I really need to practice my wall jump getting up to this here because there's like two different stars that use this and potentially three if I want to start doing the lake star. Uh, Mario, please. That was too close. Man, one of these days I am going to do that trick correctly on speedrun, but uh, this is not one of them. Ah, I do not like that pit very much. This really has just been a fairly sloppy run that has not had any major, gigantic, awful mistakes yet, or at least nothing that I didn't fix quickly. Wall kicks is the last one. Hypothetically the easiest one, although shouldn't sleep on it.
Fuck these rocks. Fuck these rocks. Mario Cam out makes that much faster, incidentally, I have discovered. Just because you can see where the fuck the star is. Hi, Death Speak. It's going alright. It's got a gold split on Hazy Maze, which is nice. Run is now only 11 seconds uh, behind personal best, which is nice. I'm gonna slide off this, aren't I? Oh shit! I've never done that before. One of these days I'm gonna get dustless diving. Always love gold splits. New tech, baby! This one will not be a gold split. Okay, I thought I was gonna miss that, and that would've made me quite sad. Space Ghost, toast to toast. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Death Speak. I am basically running this game casually at the moment. My PB is down there where the on my uh, splits right now. Man, fuck that shark. I feel like I have definitely hit that cycle. Or maybe that anti-cycle in just the wrong way before. Um, I do definitely want to do, like, dumb co-op runs of this game, but I hit the point where I just really, really enjoy running it in general, so... Eh, I always found live split timers to be strange. Yeah, it does speak uh, 70 star. It's basically the one category that I have practiced. Oh, that was almost really bad. Uh. No worries, just speak. I'm a little bit surprised I just got all of those. <laughs> that worked out so much better than it had any right to. Oh god. Come on. And then I did this. Mario, for the love of god! <laughs> uh, good split, though. Not gold, but faster than last time, where if I remember correctly, I fucked up the manatee. <laughs> or the manta. And if I double remember last time, I fucking died on this level like twice, so... Potential time save coming up. I say cautiously optimistically. That was almost bad. God, I keep thinking I'm going to miss these, uh, just like, unbalanced platforms at just the last second and I half panic.
Come on. Oh, really? Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I thought I had that shit. Somehow got that, which is cool, but I've also kind of lost, yeah, this. Zoro199, thank you for the follow. My Bowser in the Fire Sea definitely needs some work, but... It's better than it used to be, which probably says more about how it used to be than how it is. We good. As long as I hit this heart, we good. That's not what I wanted. I can live, though. Yeah, you can see the difference between my PB and, like, the run's current best. Mostly from eating some unnecessary deaths. Probably the best Bowser 2 I've ever done. That is, wow, that is by far the best Bowser 2 I have ever done. Shit. Yes, the run is good again, Ao. Bowser in the Fire Sea was always one of those, like, really iffy splits that I've had. Uh, so now, lately, I have been doing uh, very badly on the second floor, which is not entirely unexpected, but is mildly annoying for certain. So, hopefully we don't get my run killed on any of these. Um, now, granted, my current personal best includes, like, five extra minutes in Snowman's Land, so... It's not all that, uh... I'm not trying to aim for an extremely high bar here. Just five minutes of fucking clownery buffoonery over in, uh... Snowman's land. Ooh, just got that one. I don't need this coin, but no, I don't I should not go for this coin. I do not need it. Granted, if I miss any coins here, I may regret that. But I do have recovery, so. We good. Okay, now, <laughs> I have missed that star long jumping to it and, like, missed the platform completely. Let's try not to do that. <coughs> Elevator next. Yeah. 
Rip. The run's dead now. The run's dead. It's over. Okay, so I have to fucking... There we go. That jump, sometimes I hit it absolutely perfectly. I feel like a savant. Other times it goes exactly like that, where it's just like, nope, nope, not quite. Mm, no. I have also written down that I need to practice going up these boxes because I do it on at least three separate occasions. Oh shit! I did that correctly! Yeah, so if you wall jump and then jump again immediately, that counts as like the single jump into the double jump, and that's how you can use that to turn it into a triple jump. Like, any double jump where you're moving forward can be turned into a triple jump, uh, if that makes sense. So you can do it off of things like kicks. You, you can double jump off of things like kicks and wall jumps. Uh, did you shit like that? No. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Nope! <laughs> it was doomed to happen someday. I feel like I talk about getting hit by that fire every single time we come to Wet Dry World. <laughs> and this time it finally happened. That fucker. One of these days I am going to learn the like jump off of him and directly onto this platform shit because it's awesome looking. Yeah, it's not like an awful time loss or anything. Not like me missing this platform would be. Here we go. Nice. Lost like five seconds there, which frankly is perfectly fine. Three stars in Tiny Huge Island, including one that I hate. I've managed to fuck up Tiny Huge Island in a lot of ways lately. So the trip is sort of short, but certainly not sweet. God, if that fire had hit me, I'd be donezo. Now the fun part. Nope! Gen Benjamin Strada, thank you for the follow. God, I hate that you can do all that and the final thing in the level can just fuck you up. It's so bad. Don't worry, Death Speak, I am not yet at the point where that is Rip Run, because I'm not good enough. Too early. Got it! Okay, thank God. I hate that star. Now I have to remember to long jump twice. Oh yeah, this 70 star only gets three in Tiny Huge Island, which is not seven, I'll have you know. Pretty sure my math is right there. I don't know what it is about getting that first guy, but I can't do it. Like... Like... Thank you, Jeff, for being our resident math expert. And I'm right next to the star now. Here we go. 
Uh, Death Speak. Yes, I have. Or at least a vari various uh, stuff about it. Yeah, I always find tech discovery on speedruns like this really interesting. Good old speedruns. Mario 64 is particularly interesting as far as tech goes because they've really been discovering it for like the past God knows how many years. It's been a long ass time. I'm taking this much slower than I otherwise could because I don't want to fuck it up. Probably should have done long camera there, but whatever. Okay, that is Tiny Huge Island. With 18 extra seconds, that's not too bad. Now it's Tall, Tall Mountain. Another level I have not screwed up during a live speedrun, but which I am really ripe for. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Every time I do that trick right, it fills me with joy. I did a triple jump there. I never did that right. Yeah, Wally, it's a real dumb clip in like the best way. Just suddenly you are elsewhere. No! Oh, fuck. That sucks. Oh, man. I did everything else so good there, too. Hello. Come on down. Or not. If you don't, that's fine too. Oh man. I don't think I've missed like that before, so that's a new one. Local Plumber fucking loves arcane bullshit. Local Plumber is all about arcane bullshit. Yeah, I just went uh, too far to the right there. Honestly, there's a much faster way to get that star that I really need to practice. Uh, Mario is absolutely a wizard if you've watched any speedruns. Like, basically any Mario game is full of Mario wizardry. There we go. I started doing that correctly. I think because I do it on other levels that I'm more used to this. That I'm more used to doing triple jumps on a ridiculously small flat like amounts of space and like into higher ground and shit. God, I hate this wall this wall jump here. Like it it fucks me up so often and sometimes I just fail it for reasons that are arcane to me. Why did that one work when the other ones didn't? I don't know. That was almost disastrous. <laughs> Three more stars. Uh, red coins next. This is another part of the run I should probably practice a little bit better. Ah. 
I didn't think so. Pray for me, friends. Two more stars. Not gonna be my fastest, but uh, a respectable time. I'm okay with it. Really? I don't think I've ever missed it like that, huh? Well, it's gonna be a much slower split then. Whoops, because I still have two stars to get. Take it. Here we go. Yeah, that is definitely more consistent than the intended method of getting the star. Like, I was shocked how easy that was. Look at my entire lead evaporate. That's fun. Gonna make sure Chucky is not in a position to fuck me over. Here we go. To fuck ya. Still 20 seconds ahead! <laughs> Only lost a minute there. That's not too bad. Especially because uh, the Snowman's Land split. Just look at the difference between PB and my actual best. Uh, the, the last run of Snowman's Land went so badly. There's so many reasons. Uh-oh. That's very annoying. Mario, please. Okay, that could have been worse. I mean, granted, I still have to actually, you know, do the thing, but... There we go. So... If you missed my last run of this game, I fell off the top of that head twice. Barrel on Fever. No, I am not a pro player. Not even slightly. Oh, have you never seen that one, Death Speak? Yeah, this, uh, that not only took three tries, I also failed it and landed in the drink. So... Oops. Mario's speed tech is bonkers because it's actually, like, it's not easy because you do need to practice it, but it's nowhere near as hard as I thought it would be when I first started running it. Like, 70 Star is a tough speedrun, more because you really need to do so many things over, like, an hour's period uh, than because it has some completely ridiculous tech skip bullshit. Yeah, it's mostly movement tech, um, and that's kind of why I like it so much. Like, I'll probably run 16 Star at some point, because I've never done that yet. Um... But I really, really like the way that 70 Star, like, shows off the game, if that makes sense. Almost just did that correctly, and then fucked it up after doing the triple jump right. 
That might be a new one. Oh, it is absolutely fantastic to watch. And I gotta be honest, it is so much fun to do. I... the reason I'm doing this now is because ever since I started it, I've kind of gotten hooked. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that went a little bit okay. Of course, now it's time to go to the third floor, the place that I have practiced a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. not what I wanted. I hate getting up to Rainbow Ride, I gotta be honest. I know there are like ways to do it, but mm. Ricky Ora, thank you for the follow. Uh, time to die. Yes! Okay. I hate that star so much. Just clench my butt the entire time. Now I just have to do that triple jump at the start twice more. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Oh dear. It's a good thing I have 12 lives. Um, at some point I will probably switch to doing pole strats depending on how well this continues to go. That was a good one. Vlakitu almost just fucking killed me there. Oh, that would have been funny. I... I would have died, but I would have laughed first. Still not as bad as some things I've done here. Um, gotta do that triple jump one more time, though. Oof. Sloppy! Weeaboo smell bad. Weeaboo smell bad. Thank you for the follow. Come on, Mario, jump! If you're talking about that Got Milk commercial, Mira, that is literally what I think every time Mario doesn't do a speedrun trick right. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, good. 
So I only missed that twice out of five tries, which is, you know, not... Ugh. Tricky triangles fucks me up sometimes. Mostly that jump right there. Oh god. <laughs> Almost just lost a little bit more time. Tricky Triangles is a good ass star. I love it. Time for another triple jump that usually takes a life off of me. Not usually that way, though. That's a new one. Boy, if I don't get this star after uh, this incredibly slow recovery bullshit... Oh, that's gonna be some time loss. Now granted, I'm doing pretty fucking well as far as personal best is concerned. Beautiful! Okay. I extremely agree, Doc Magnificent. Magnificent. The best part of speedrunning is finding new interesting ways to lose. Oh, oops. I did not mark that fast enough. That should have been on the screen transition there. It's fine, though. It's a good split. Now, my old nemesis. The clock. chickened out. If I miss that particular side flip that I just did there, uh, things go very badly for me. This is a little bit sad. There we go. <laughs> uh, still probably the fastest I've gotten that star on camera. Boy, when I fall down and have to do that a third time for some reason, I am gonna just fuck it up constantly because this never goes this- there it is! There it is! Oh god. I shouldn't go for that jump. <laughs> I only give myself a heart attack. It's like even when I hit it right, I chicken out like I did just there because I should have just continued holding forward and I would have been fine. Also just brain farted there on which star I was going for. Okay. So those are the two hardest ones, which is not to say that the rest of this won't be. Four more. I hope the clock is stopped. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was almost bad. Um, I'd say it's kind of hard on my hands, but not, like, exceptionally so. I would say I had a similar amount of... Ooh, that might be too far. I may have had a similar amount of, uh, like, hand troubles uh, when I started getting into Overwatch, seriously. Different pains, obviously, but, like, as long as you make sure you're, you know, trying to practice good habits and shit, it's not as bad as you would expect. Um, it is very repetitive, though. New and exciting ways to lose time. Yeah, I, I assume an N64 controller would probably be worse on my hands. And I do have two of them, and an N64 and Mario on in here, in the apartment. I may do console, like actual console speed runs at some point, but we'll see. There is still so much room for improvement on TikTok clock, but, you know, like not doing that, that, oh my god. <laughs> right when I thought I would just do a thing. Thought I'd get fancy or special. Do that as safely as fucking possible. <laughs> because, oh my god. One more star. Which means our current total is very nice. Mostly because when I practice tricks, it's, oh my god, it's usually ones that kill me. And like, I've practiced this a decent amount, but the movement on the steps just always fucks me up. And I'm gonna miss this. I can feel it. Okay. Very much a gold split. Here we go! Nailed it!
Nope. This is already slower than it would have been if I had just done it the regular way. Eh, it's probably on par. Now, I learned a really schnazzy way to do this, but since I'm nursing a PB here, I am not going to do that. Basically, I've learned how to do the, like, kicks over all these platforms and, like, you know, you hit the, the fucking pole in motion and shit, and it's really, really awesome when it works. It loses you a fuck ton of time when it doesn't, so... Perhaps someday soon. God, that jump is so stressful. For really dumb reasons. Thank you for the follow. Stack blocks. Nope. Ugh. Ugly. Ugly. Got it. Ah, damn, thought I had the sub 120 there. Oh well, new PB, pretty fucking solid. Yeah, that's over four minutes off my previous. Um, partly because I didn't fuck up uh, Snowman's Land very much. Partly because I actually did some strats correctly in TikTok Clock. <laughs> And yeah, if I did it without fucking anything up, um, my hypothetical best run is 10 minutes shorter. A lot of that is doing some real fancy stuff. The biggest thing with TikTok Clock is that I actually practiced it. Um, the other thing that is honestly going to make it really tough to beat that gold split on TikTok Clock for a little while is that I got both of the triple jumps there perfectly. Um, like the, the triple jumps off of those three boxes that you do, because you can't just triple jump directly into the wall and wall kick, you won't get high enough. You have to sort of like pull yourself back very slightly when the triple jump starts and then wall kick if you want to make it. I can sometimes only do that trick one in 20 and I just did it twice in a row. So that was really, really good. And of course, this run started out super sloppy. There, there was a lot of like, really, pl a lot of places where I really could have expected some much better time loss than that. But yeah, you look at Snowman's Land and the fact that, you know, I was, instead of being four minutes up, I was two and a half, or like, God, almost three minutes down. 
Yeah, Will-O-Wisp, I could definitely believe that. Oh, right, I always forget that I want to, like, switch my view to this shit. The window is slightly moved into the wrong place. Let's just, yeah, there we go. For verification purposes. I don't know how much they actually check it, but I am on Project 64, version 1.6. So I have a view that just, you know, confirms what they already know. Known Blob, thank you for the sub. Really glad you're enjoying the content. Really glad you're displacing all of the mouses that are chilling inside of our bit cup. So yeah, this run, um, I think I cleaned up a lot of the worst stuff that was holding me back at my previous runs, which means that now a lot of this, like, like th these are pro this is probably the last super easy improvement I've got. Um, and the stuff I'm gonna have to start doing to start getting better PBs and break 120 uh, is going to be like, you know, either harder tricks or getting more consistent with my current ones. Because I don't think there's anything that's like super duper hard uh, left in the run. Very glad, Known Blob. I'm giving you a thumbs up right now, even though I don't, even though I don't have a webcam. Yeah, I got the saves on those, uh, like, towards the end there were very good. Like, I lost a bunch of time in Tall Tall Mountain because I missed the long jump to the, uh, to the one star. But then Snowman's Land, uh, was ridiculously good compared to my old PB. Like, there are, because this wasn't my best time ever, but it was just so much better than my old PB. Rainbow Ride, I managed to not lose too much time despite dying, so that's always good. Um, and despite fucking up the coins. If I had gotten the coins a lot better, this would be a, this would be a sub-120. Tick-clock-clock clock went about as well as I could have hoped. Um, it's 11.35, and since these runs are almost an hour and a half, I probably won't do a second one. Um... I may do some runs tomorrow, we'll see, before anime night, but I don't know. Yeah, exactly, Shrimp. It'll be things that I'll, I'll actually start getting runs where, like, things fuck up in ways that aren't, you know, easily fixable. Um, but I mean, even, even my sum of best sequence uh, segments has gone down by quite a lot since I started, just because, just from getting, like, Really, really solid runs in the middle of things. So I'm feeling pretty good overall about that. Um, yeah, of course I also did uh, end up streaming Fire Emblem for like four and a half hours today. So I've done like six hours of streaming today. Fun, pretty good, pretty good though. Thank you, Misery Mira. Um, if you don't know, you can follow me at at Vicus3, basically the exact same as my Twitch handle, or my Twitter handle is the same as my Twitch uh, username. I announce basically all the streams I do from there. Uh, my fiance and I do regular streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. She does streams on Wednesdays. Um, all of these are in the afternoon or later if we specify. Uh, and then I do various, like, speedrunning streams and other games like that, just kind of during the week. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I think I'm going to take a break for now. Take care. Bye-bye.